Hey there, Civil War buffs, and welcome back to yet another video of Ultimate General Gettysburg. Now, in this particular part, um, we are in Day 2, and uh, as the Confederacy, I have done pretty well to go ahead and take seminary, Cemetery Ridge excuse me, with a lot of brigades here. Uh, but one problem is we need to lead the final assault against the Union lines, and hopefully, I think, uh, go ahead and wrap up the Battle of Gettysburg here. As you can see, we have a very strong victory point here in the middle, uh, and we've actually got enough men here to try and route the Union on the right flank, um, which is something that I haven't really tried before. I've really tried just frontal assault so far, which, you know, some have worked, some have not. It's been pretty, pretty uh, split, really. Um, and I'm going to try to go ahead and complete this battle while defeating the Union. Now, another thing I want to do is, um, in past battles, I haven't made great use of uh, my cannons, so I'm going to go ahead and, for instance, bring Wingfield here to fire some, some canister shot over here into the Union lines. Um, I'll also get these cannons up on Cemetery Ridge, or at least very close to where our men will be fighting. Now, these guys are pretty well placed, as you can see, they're on top of a ridge, but they're going to be firing basic shot, round shot. And that's not all that effective. Um, really, all it's effective at doing is wiping out enemy cannons. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys set up. As you can see, these guys are marching onto the field in force. Um, I'm not sure what the Union has in store for us, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be fun to deal with. Um, there's going to be a lot of enemies that we have to crush. So we're going to go ahead and move up. Oh, I sound like a, like a, this is like World War II. There are a lot of enemies we have to crush. Wrong friggin' time, Agrippa. Come on, let's get back to Civil War. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take Daniel here and bring him up as well. Really just making this frontal assault squad extremely powerful. Um, and as long as we hold this 4,500 victory point, uh, we're going to be okay. But we're not going to win the battle by any means. Um, so we want to make sure that we definitely try to take at least one of these other victory points. Should, the assault should have started. I'm guessing that the first zone of contact will be here at the wheat field. We'll go ahead and uh, engage Graham and engage Ward as well. And you guys might be thinking here, what are you thinking, Agrippa? We're definitely outnumbered. Well, we are outnumbered, but the enemy is definitely at a disadvantage right now. They're on the defense. We really have to make the best use of this as we can. And we also have pretty good terrain here if we get out of the wheat field. Um, there we go. Right is opening up. Ward is opening up. We're going to bring Robertson here to support these guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to take off and run pretty soon. Um, and let's go ahead and move these guys up too. As you can see, Smith has taken up position on top of this hill here. Um, pretty smart on his part. We want to just keep moving this battle line up until we eventually come into contact with the Union. And that should be pretty soon. In fact, we want to get someone on Powers Hill immediately. Don't want to give up those nice positions. And are we serious? Are they actually leaving Sheephaven totally unguarded, guys? Because if they are, <laughs> it just made the battle a whole lot easier. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring these guys up. Just keep bringing our lines around. Uh, this could result in a total flank of the Union. I'm going to go ahead and keep going. All right, here we go, guys. Perry has begun to engage Smith. Uh, it looks like Mahone is moving up, too. We can go ahead and target these guns. Uh, these cannons, I should say. Well, I guess they are guns, right? Just bigger guns. Okay, so it looks like Wright has finally broken. I expected that to happen. We'll go ahead and move Robertson through the wheat field uh, to deal with Graham. Uh, Posey seems to be doing all right, though. Um, sort of dealing with Ward here. And as you can see, Graham is now getting towards the wheat field. In fact, Wright seems to have taken his position up again, so we'll try to move Robertson a little bit and see if Wright can't go ahead and engage these guys right away. Um, it'd be great to get two brigades engaging. And there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. I want to take the high ground here. Um, this tiny hilly area near George Weikert's farm. It's really not much of a hill, but uh, it serves its purpose. Alright, here we go, guys. Lane approaching. Wonderful. Lane is getting pretty nice volley shot off over here on green. Unfortunately, Coster is doing pretty good to Lane. So we're going to go ahead and move Gordon over here, guys. Um, at this point, McDougal has moved up, and that's a pretty strong Union Brigade. So we want to take positions up on Sheep Haven and just decimate him. Uh, we'll also move our cannons up on top of this hill. You can see this beautiful hill right here. Uh, it's a perfect spot for our cannons, so we'll go ahead and move all these guys up here. Stuart, are you engaging? Come on, man. Get with the program. Okay, Stuart's reloading. Sorry about that. And Stonewall Brigade is approaching. One of my favorite brigades, although in this game I do feel they're a little underpowered. Okay, it looks like the Unions are trying to do a counterattack on our center. Um, Hey, that's pretty risky, but it seems to be working. We're, we see Green pushing up pretty well. We'll go ahead and get O'Neill on Powers Hill. Should have already been there, but it's my bad, uh, my bad commanding there that that, that did that, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and move Mahone up. Really just want to push this left flank as much as we can. It looks like Wright and Robertson are putting the pressure here on Graham. 
Um, and that's good news. Unfortunately, we've got some Union reinforcements here. Carr is moving into position. So let's try to get on top of Devil's Den. If we can take it first, um, that's definitely going to help us. Come on, boys. you got to run. No time for walking in this battle, I have to say. Uh, Robertson is taking a lot of damage from those cannons, so we want to be careful. We did get on top of Devil's Den here. Unfortunately, we've got the U.S. Sharpshooters to contend with. Hopefully, there won't be too much trouble. All right, Daniel. This is your time to shine. We've got Gordon over here on the right, guys. Stonewall Brigade doing a lot of damage to all of their um, artillery here, trying to make them retreat. Um, and that's good. I want to deal... I want to destroy their artillery before the battle starts. You can see a lot of canister shot. Probably killing a tremendous amount of men. But that's okay. We finally got them to pull back. And now we can start moving off Sheep Haven here. Looks like our cannons are also on the way. That's good. Let's go ahead and move over to Shell Shot and start opening Fire McDougal. Alright, so our center line here is crumbling a little bit. Not substantially, but enough to worry about it. Let's move Hayes there. Let's get Nickel to also head this way. Uh, and we can move all of these guys up. As you can see, we are sort of taking the center now again. Starting to push those Union Brigades back. That counterattack did not work. Just don't think they have enough manpower at the moment. Let's see Gordon fire up this volley. Oh, yes. I can't believe Kane is still fighting. That guy's tough. Really tough. And, uh, in fact, I think I want to go ahead and aim at Bucktail Brigade instead. It looks like Gordon may be able, maybe about to pull back. Excuse me. All right, there we go. We've got Ames on the run. Uh, more Yankee reinforcements have arrived. It's Crawford, Crawford Division of the 5th Corps. Uh, that's a lot of infantry coming. So we want to just keep our positions, try to keep dealing damage to the enemy, and, yeah, just keep doing what we're doing, really. But we really do want to take one of these points fairly soon. And as you can see over here on the wheat field, things are not working out very well. They're doing really good defense here, um, which I didn't expect. I'm going to go ahead and move Anderson down over here. And what are you doing? You little sneaky bastard. You've got some sharpshooters just firing off at us. Go ahead and switch to shell shot and target them. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got a lot of Yankee troops incoming. Um, and we definitely want to make the best of our positions here. We're just going to hold this position. You can see Lockwood here is of the new division of 5th Corps. Uh, so is Weed. Um, yeah, a lot of guys to deal with here. So let's hope we can hold the line. I'm going to go ahead and switch these guys to canister shot. Or sorry, to shell shot. And fire on Lockwood. Seems that guy's already got the idea. So we do have pretty good positions with our artillery in the eastern uh, flank. But as you guys can see over here, we've got a lot of Yankee troops pushing up on the Weed field. Anderson. Go ahead and just make Anderson run. Got a lot of artillery here, and although I'm tempted to fire on the infantry, uh, I think we have to take that artillery out pretty soon before it becomes a major problem, which it already kind of is. Mahone seems to be pulling back a little bit, but at least he's keeping the Union back from that victory point. Alright, let's get Avery up. No need for these guys to be all the way back here. And we could start moving these brigades back into position. If we can sort of press the assault over here from the north, we may be able to stop this major defeat that we're looking at uh, because of our loss at the wheat field. So let's hope that happens. And just to pause quickly, let you guys take a look at the carnage. I want to zoom in here on the wheat field. Just look at all the Confederate dead there. Um, so taking that position, obviously it's a very exposed area. Um, and it's not a good place to hold um, any sort of, of a battle line, much less an attack or an assault. Um, so we really just need to be careful here. The U.S. sharpshooters are doing a pretty good job on us. I'm trying to going to try to get right to start firing at them. And uh, we'll see if Fry can go ahead and do some canister shot. I think he can. And here we go. All right, wonderful. So we do have Ward on the run, guys. We just want to keep pressing that assault. We'll bring Ramser up. Uh, Thomas, Daniel, everyone needs to come up. We really just need to keep keep focusing, refocusing this line. You can see they're trying to move Kershnowski here to a better position. And I don't like that. Um, what is happening here? What the hell is happening here? We're going to shell shot, I mean, canister shot down on these guys. I don't know what is going on. They seem to have gotten behind our battle lines. And this is one of the bugs that I really don't like about the game. Um, you know, this would not happen in a real battle. You wouldn't just have an enemy unit suddenly appear behind you and march behind you without routing. 
Uh, but that's alright. Uh, it looks like they're taking quite a pounding, so I guess that's just going to be a lot of lost men for them. Alright, Nickel here. I'm going to go ahead and have, have Nickel charge right into uh, Burbank. And uh, we'll bring Hayes over here to deal with Kershnowski. And actually try to bring Gould here. I don't know why he's just standing around doing nothing. It looks like the entire Union is trying to flank um, our guys over here. Kind of an interesting tactic. There we go. Our charge is doing pretty well. Seems to be making actually making the Union uh, run back. And actually, I want to get Hayes to deal with Kershnowski as soon as possible. Wow, Kane is still in the action. Unbelievable. And O'Neill's volley here should finish them off, I think. Yes, I was pretty right on that. Um, it's hard to be wrong um, because he is in serious jeopardy there. And we're just going to keep moving up over here. As you can see, they're taking up pretty good positions in the south um, across the weed field. So we just want to try to get into position. We should bring Roberts in here. More Yankee reinforcements have arrived, guys. It's Barnes Division of the 5th Corps. Wow, so we are getting a lot of enemy troops coming. Uh, we want to go ahead and just start opening fire on these artillery positions. Kill as many of them as we can. Move everyone up. Start moving Avery up here on the uh, right flank. And wow, look at this nasty battle that's starting to take place here. Um, unfortunately, Stewart is pulling back. We'll go ahead and charge with Jones into Detrobrian and Lockwood. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to hold whatsoever. The best we can do is get Gordon and Nichols up here on this hill get Avery to deal with these guys. They are getting really smart here. Um, I don't know if it's the AI that's improving, uh, but that is tremendously good tactics by the uh, by the AI troops. As you can see here, our guys are in a pretty nasty battle. We're going to try to get to the top of this hill as quickly as we can. Avery here, he can go ahead and charge. Wow, interesting battle. Uh, I'm going to bring Daniel up over here. So it looks like they're moving everyone to the right, sort of focusing two huge brigades on the right and on the left. They have retaken Devil's Den, which is very bad for us. Um, and we really just want to get into contact here. Let's go ahead and bring Robertson up. There we go. It's a nice little hit by the artillery. All right, our guys are on the run over here in the east, but it looks like a lot of the Union troops are also on the run. We'll start firing down at day. Thankfully, Gordon has already taken the initiative and already started his shooting, uh, which is pretty awesome. And uh, our guys have reformed their battle line. So, wow, what a battle there. Just a lot of close combat. You can see, look at that. Just the amount of Confederate and Union dead is unbelievable there in the, in the uh, right flank. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just switch to canister shot for all of these guys. Just try to do as much damage as we can. Guys are already on canister. Wow, these unions are definitely the union troops are definitely trying to charge our positions. Um, don't think we could do a lot to them right now. Come on, Hayes. What are you waiting for? All right, Daniel's moving in. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Confederate battle charge, guys, with Daniel's brigade as well as with O'Neill's. This is a full right flank charge. Also, Perrin's going in. Uh, really putting everything into this uh, to try to break the Union on the right flank. Don't know what's going to happen if we don't succeed here. Alright, it's looking pretty even, although these guys are pulling back. O'Neill's pulling back. Uh, Perrin is still fighting. Daniel and O'Neill are pulling back, but yeah, this is still, wow, very, very rowdy here. I'm going to go ahead and start firing on these guys. And we'll actually bring Benning here and Scales to hold these positions. Didn't look like our Confederate charge worked very well, guys. We did put some Union troops on the run, which is definitely a bonus. But uh, it looks like we've just had a ton of damage on both sides. Uh, let's go ahead and move down here. Got to keep pushing that position. This is really our key to victory is this left flank here. Um, but it looks like it's going to be almost impossible to break. Go ahead and bring this guy up to deal with their uh, sharpshooters. Come on, boys, put down the fire. All right, guys, looks like we have some troops on the run over here in the center. That's good news for us. We'll go ahead and deal with Heckman um, as soon as we can, but he's going to pull back. He's one of their best artillery captains, at least in my opinion. He gets some pretty tremendous hits off on my guys. 
Um, O'Neill seems to be panicking. <laughs> I don't blame him, but we have managed to hold over here, guys, so that's good news. Um, at this point, I'm just going to keep these guys over here. I'm not going to make a push at all uh, for Beitler's point here. I'm just not. I don't think it's safe. I don't think we can do it. I think we're going to lose a lot more men um, in the push than, than we're going to succeed in killing. Uh, and really what I'm going to try to take here is Little Round Top. The obviously famous Little Round Top. Everybody knows it if you know anything about the Gettysburg Battles. We definitely want to start firing on this artillery because right now the only thing keeping us from getting up that hill is the tremendous amount of enemy artillery firing down upon us. Uh, so let's go ahead and get Dole down. Where are our reinforcements? Don't we at least get some reinforcements here? We can also start moving these cannons up because they're not going to be of much use down here. First Corps... eye on our right nonetheless. Okay, Wilcox is getting into position, and it looks like they have gotten some infantry to hold on to Little Round Top. Um, I don't blame them. They're putting all of their defensive power there. Uh, so we have to be very careful. Let's try to move Benning into these woods at least. And are, is the Union going to try to make an assault over here? Possibly. Go ahead and get Stonewall Brigade to uh, move to Clapsdale Farm and provide some uh, much-needed support there. All right, guys, we are firing down a little round top. You can see this huge cluster of men here, um, but whether or not we're succeeding, only time will tell. Go ahead and move Robertson down here. Everybody over here into the wheat field, one of my most hated areas, but nonetheless a necessary area of battle, without a doubt. And also, we're going to get a little bit of defensive bonus from the Rosewoods here. Not going to do much, but uh, it may be able to help us a bit. Let's move Iverson over here so he can take up yet another sort of position over here. Uh, and let's make sure nobody's going to take this 4,500 victory point. I think we're fine, but I want to make absolutely sure. Alright, Scales, time for you to move into battle. It looks like Benning is on the run. And uh, we have to be careful over here, guys, um, especially near Powers Hill. It looks like the Union is putting up a pretty effective offensive, uh, and we don't have a lot. We have a single battle line to hold them back, which is not good for us. Thankfully, we don't really have any victory points in this area, uh, but I still wouldn't want to see what happens if we lose that area to the Union. So let's go ahead and keep firing. Let's just focus on Brewster for now. Wow, unfortunately, Mahone is pulled back one of our strongest cores, so that definitely uh, scares me. And it looks like the Union is getting extremely close with their cannons. Uh, I don't like that. Wow, guys. Unbelievable. I want to say this is my bloodiest battle. I know I say that nearly every battle, and that's because every single one gets more and more bloody. Uh, but, yeah, amazing. I mean, the amount of actual close combat here in this battle has been pretty unbelievable. But just alone, um, all of the dead over here in the wheat field is amazing. Um, you can see a lot of... We've lost a lot of men here. Really would like some reinforcements. Zone's so condition has returned pretty well. We'll go ahead and move him up a bit. Start dealing with uh, Burling. Just want to make sure that we're all focused firing on one brigade. Like, for instance, I want all these guys focused on Bruiser, Brewster. Uh, I want all these guys focused on Burling because we want to break these guys and make them run. It's really the uh, the entire plan here. Okay, good. So our guys are uh, reforming pretty well. I like the positions they've taken over here in the woods. Um, seems to be a pretty safe area. Let's go ahead and just keep moving these guys up. I mean, not safe. <laughs> safer than being exposed, but uh, none of these guys on this battlefield right now are safe. I can say that with almost absolute certainty. Go ahead and get Perrin to start firing here. Thomas, aren't you shooting at that artill artillery unit right in front of you? Very odd. Vincent is a totally fresh brigade. Guys, you can see the Union um, is really saving their reinforcements here. Kind of scary. condition of our troops is withering away quickly. Um, we just can't make it up this hill. It's quite simple. The men are <laughs> pretty sick of dying and not making it anywhere. Uh, it would be pointless at this point to really do any sort of charge. 
um, because we would definitely lose, and uh, we would end up losing a tremendous amount of men. So all we can do is just keep up the uh, keep up the attacks, try to do our best, um, and at the very least hold the victory position that we took yesterday. That wow, our artillery's not liking that at all. my generals over here to try to provide some moral support for the troops, um, but things are pretty hairy, to be honest. Let's get Ross to start firing some cannons and shot. What are you doing? Look at the crazy Union artillery. Alright. Stonewall is still focused over here, but we'll start moving over to focus on weed, because uh, these guys can pose a, quite a big problem. Fisher, weed, and day. Uh, there's some pretty strong brigades over here. And even Willard, who's totally untouched this battle, is really strong. Uh, surprisingly, we've actually put Green on the run, and Vincent seems to be taking a lot of damage over here from these guys, from Scales and Benning. That's good news. Uh, but not the news we wanted to hear. Let's put Perry on charge. I want to try to charge and get rid of these artillery pieces. I'm sick of seeing them. Um, and there we go. We've, we're at least putting them on the run. We'll try to move these guys up. Uh, this doesn't seem like it's going to work very well, but if we can start pushing this Union back, it'd be awesome. Here we go, guys. Moving everyone up for a full offensive on the south. Well, as the south on the south. You figure that out for yourself, guys. Um, here we go, and we are moving up. Hopefully we're holding this position over here. We have third core up here. These guys are doing a great job at defense, despite being heavily outnumbered by the Union. And this is where the Union may flank us, so we want to move Stewart up. And we'll move Smith up as well. Here we go, guys. The assault has commenced. You can see this. The Union seems to be pushing back. We're going to try to make it on top of Little Round Top immediately uh, with all the brigades we can. I'm just running with Mahone. I'm running with Doles. If you guys saw the amount of mouse clicking I'm doing here, it's kind of scary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just keep running. Uh, in fact, Iverson will move up as well, and with some of these guys, we're going to charge. Um, not on this right flank, though. Let's go ahead and take Doles. Now, he's the first one here, so I'm going to halt with him and start opening fire. But with one of these guys, I'm definitely going to try to do a charge. How about Lane? Yes, Lane will charge. Uh, Anderson, you should move up. Go ahead and get Fry back on firing on Brewster here. As long as we can break Brewster, we should be in a pretty good position. Oh, look at this. The Union is doing their, their sneaky, sneaky attack again. Moving behind us. I don't like that. Let's get a canister shot. All right, here we go, guys. Iverson up. Oh, don't let, that, don't let the attack break now, guys. Burling seems to be holding their position okay. We'll get Mahone to... Well, he's already doing a charge, it seems. How about Iverson? Iverson do a charge. We are winning at Little Round Top. That's good news, guys. But unfortunately, without the help of Wilcox, I'm not sure how long we can hold. Uh, we need to get him focused over here. It's not dealing with Hall. But Hall's got to be a pain in the ass. And there we go. It looks like we have taken Little Round Top. Um, I want to go ahead and just get as many guys on this hill as possible. Let's get that manpower up on the hill. And wow, Brewster has taken a hell of a hit. It, a hell of a beating, excuse me, but really hasn't fired on us. I don't know what that's about. Go ahead, Iverson, charge, man. We get these guys to charge. Lane, Iverson can charge as well. And there we go. It looks like we are pushing the Union off almost entirely of Little Round Top. Although it's really hectic and we don't know exactly what's going on yet. We won't know until the battle kind of cleans up a bit. Although we can start moving these brigades onto Little Round Top. We start moving some artillery up there too. Wow, unbelievable, guys. That was a hell of a battle there. Still going on, of course, and we secured it. Wonderful. So at this point, we just really want to hold. We'll halt all our troops and just keep opening fire. Let's move over here and make sure the Union hasn't made a little advance. Um, surely they have. Yes, okay. So let's get Jones over here to start firing on day. We really don't want this right side to break, but uh, it may happen. We'll try to send O'Neill to provide some support as well. Daniel's still here. Let's start firing on Fisher. Wow, guys, unbelievable. So we did manage to take a little round top from the Union. Um, really, really cool. The 
battle is, of course, delayed. This is, without a doubt, probably one of my longest battles. Go ahead and get Wilcox up here. Start firing on Biddle. Now, Biddle may not have a lot of guys in his brigade, but he is a damn good general. And uh, believe me, he's put a lot of my guys on the run in the past. Uh, so here we go. Let's maybe get some artillery guys on Devil's Den. I don't feel good leaving Devil's Den unoccupied, so we'll send Mahone over there. Okay, bad news over here on the right flank, guys. We are falling back, and uh, this is definitely a very important victory point. So already I'm going to start getting some artillery pieces set up here in case we have to defend. I don't think we should have to. It looks like we actually have two really expensive victory points here. Um, really valuable victory points, I should say. Go ahead and bring Wilcox over here to the right. All right, guys, it looks like we are holding Devil's Den as well. Wonderful. Um, the U.S. Sharpshooters are going to give us a little bit of trouble, although I don't think enough to push us off the mountain. And that's what we wanted. We wanted some actual uh, high ground so we could fire down on the enemy. It's exactly what we're going to be getting here uh, with Anderson and, and Posey over here. And guys, what are you doing? Just fire at war. Keep this simple. We've actually brought Wilcox over here to help out um, our guys struggling over here. I think that was a pretty good idea. Um, but unfortunately, Wilcox is probably not going to even make it. He might fire off one more volley, but he's going to pull back pretty soon. The condition of these guys uh, after that charge on Little Round Top is pretty low. Um, you can't blame them. Okay, here we go, guys. We're trying to make an assault on Little Round Top. Doing a pretty good job. 1,400 men. Uh, we want to try to bring some guys down here as if we can to defend against this. Uh, hopefully, we can hold against them, but I can't promise anything scales up here. Okay, here we go with Perrin. And at this point, I've been trying to be a little more careful on this uh, right flank. I didn't want to really engage the enemy, but at this point, I will get some guys to fire on Fisher. Uh, try to decimate at least one of these very strong brigades before they uh, before they reach our right flank over here. All right, wonderful guys. Uh, looks like we are holding this hill. Um, unfortunately, a lot of guys are retreating. We just keep, have to keep reinforcing them, and everything should be just fine. Dole's, you should be firing this way. All right, we'll have Wilcox move up as well. And unfortunately, one thing that does frighten me is a lot of our men are very low on condition. Um, so we may want to actually let Wilcox rest a bit. We'll have him halt here and just rest, hold for a bit, uh, try to regain some of that condition. We can move Iverson up. And let's move uh, first core and second core up as well. Provide some uh, just morale from the generals. Scales, get up there. Okay, it would be great if we could actually break Paul here. You can see a lot of Union dead. They haven't managed to actually make any assaults happen on the right. Uh, they did push us up off uh, Sheep's Haven. Or is this Sheep Heaven? Is this where they bury sheep? <laughs> Very possibly. Um, but yeah, they did manage to push us off this area, although we don't really have any victory points here. So basically readjusted our lines. We moved back. You can see we lost a lot of men on the hill, uh, but we seem to be holding our positions okay. Um, we can go look over here. Our biggest flaw, really, was our initial assault on the wheat field. Um, as you can see, when we started over here, we lost a lot of men, and that definitely weakened our assault on Little Round Top. Could have been a lot more successful. We could have lost a lot less men, um, but that's no longer in the cards. As you can see, we do have Ward on the run, which is very good news. Uh, I do want to bring one of these infantry units up to harass their artillery, because their artillery is pounding us with shell shot, um, if you guys aren't seeing that, and that's really troubling. Uh, so we want to get up there as quickly as possible. In fact, I'm going to have more target their artillery units instead of their infantry. Johnson, you could target their sharpshooters. <laughs> Looks like their sharpshooters are more or less out of the battle. Alright, Ramzur. Ramzur is my favorite Confederate general, you guys know that. Um, unfortunately, he has been pulling back a lot this battle, so make it take Benning's place here. Uh, sort of start firing on Vincent. Go ahead and have him run. 
Perry. It's Matthew Perry. No, it's not. All right. Interesting. Um, so we are... It's, it's a lot of work to hold Little Round Top, I won't lie. Um, we keep having to retreat. You know, a lot of these guys are very low on condition, as you guys already know. So we're just reinforcing those lines as quickly as we can. Uh, here we go, guys. It looks like another Union counterattack over here on the east uh, with Paul's brigade. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it through, but it looks like he's getting a pretty effective volley down Thomas. Uh, and I'm hoping you guys can just hold their positions just until the end of this battle. We're so close to finalizing victory here, guys. Um, at least a draw. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what happens. Um, it really depends on each individual battle whether or not you get a, a you know, major victory, a glorious victory, a draw, etc. Okay, so we're going to move Stuart here. We just want to contain them. That's all we want to do, guys. We have no interest in pushing this uh, area over here. We just want to contain these enemies, and we don't want them taking this high ground if at all possible. So uh, we'll make a slight push here. It's my only offensive I'll be doing over here on this right flank, unless something goes horribly wrong. Um, we'll go ahead and bring Daniel up, too. And there we go, putting a little pressure on the enemy. All right, so Hall is doing the whole Union uh, sneak attack here, uh, trying to get past my lines. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm just going to fire right into that clump of men. And, yeah, he's going to regret that for sure. There we go. He's on the run. And we'll go ahead and move over here to uh, Smythe. Oh, he's getting Smith and Smythe confused with one another. Let's get Ramser up. Let's do some attacking. Ramser should be able to at least have a volley started here on Vincent. I don't know why Benning seems to be like a pacifist. He doesn't seem to ever fire unless I order him to. There we go. Vincent is probably one of the best Union generals on the battlefield right now, um, at least in this battle. Uh, he, I haven't seen him run yet, so... Pretty cool. Look at all these dead men on farms. Oh, gosh. Wow. Jacob Weber, Krug, Pricker. These are a lot of different farmers. Unbelievable. Um, those guys are going to be pretty pissed. <laughs> a lot of cleanup to do. You can just see here, um, even over here by Jay Weckert's farm, even before we get to the wheat field, or on the right side of the wheat field, I should say, we have a tremendous amount of both Union and Confederate dead, just from the constant offensive we've, offensives excuse me, that we've been doing throughout the day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move up here. Graham, you aren't going to be able to make it. Move back, old man. We'll go ahead and move these guys up, too duels as well. Oh boy, okay, um, this is not good. We are losing our center line. It's not something that we want to happen at all. Go ahead and have Avery move over here, and we'll have O'Neill over here, so sort of reform that line. Uh, we're not going to have a double line in this sector, but I think that's okay, because if we can stop them from winning, then, uh, or taking this victory point, then we'll be just fine. Um, and as you can see, Vincent is finally on the run, but he reformed pretty quickly, so, uh, wow, good job. Go ahead and try to deal with Smith over here. And it looks like Ramsbury is not in the best condition. We'll just have him hauled and sort of uh, get his uh, condition back. We'll have him be the honor guard of this battle. He can sort of just hang out here um, and uh, watch this victory point for us. Maybe even get on top of the hill there. Get Lane over here. Lane is taking a hell of a pounding this battle. Okay, guys, it looks like the Union is starting another offensive. You can see a lot of fresh troops here moving on Devil's Den. Maybe we can move Iverson over here to intercept them, but um, it looks like they're going to make another assault on Little Round Top. Um, certainly, I think it's probably their last chance to, to get a draw in this battle. Let's go ahead and move this artillery up here to Devil's Den. Damn sharpshooters are going to be a pain in the ass, but what, what can we do? It looks like it's going to be Brewster uh, leading the assault. Joel's is moving in. Mahone is moving in. We just want to get on the very tippy top of that hill. I know it's an odd phrase to use in a Civil War game. And there we go. Wow. Huge retreat by the Union, guys. At this point, we will go ahead and just hold. But uh, that was wonderful. It's exactly what we wanted to happen. And actually, what I'm going to be targeting is mainly artillery here. Uh, because they're really the only ones, I think, that have the power at this point to force us off the hill with that really annoying shell shot. And uh, let's halt Anderson here. Halt Anderson. Wonderful. Um, so we have basically put them totally on the run. Let's head over here to our center lines. Looks like everything's holding steady. It's exactly what we wanted. And even these guys, we really have to take the, our hats off to uh, Stewart, Nickel, Smith, and especially Smith. 
um, and uh, Stonewall, any of these guys on the eastern flank, because these guys have really put up with the most uh, damage, I think, ultimately at the end. I mean, we did lose a lot of guys, um, obviously, over here, and I'm sure all these brigades probably have more casualties, but the amount of pounding that these guys have taken, they have held this line from the beginning of the battle. Um, they were moved off Sheep Heaven, and nonetheless, they have managed to hold. Uh, so we have to give them a lot of respect. I would imagine if this was a real battle, um, a lot of medals would be given this uh, this battle for sure. Go ahead and start firing here. Let's not count our blessings yet. And there we go, yet another little crazy Union attack. Uh, they are going for a victory point in the center for sure. You can see they were trying to do a mini charge there. And Biddle, what are you doing, man? Come on, you know you can't beat us. All right, Iverson, is Iverson pulling back? I hope not. Let's see if we got Iverson can target these sharpshooters. Unbelievable carnage, guys. So just a real quick mapping here of the battlefield. Um, you guys can see the dead are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Um, the Union haven't managed to make that push through the center, although given enough time, I will be honest, they very well might have. Um, and hey, there's still time on the clock. So the game is not over. We could see they're making one of those crazy charges, so we're going to go ahead and charge into Vincent with Thomas. Not going to let them uh, just walk into that victory point and take it. That would be so embarrassing. Cannons. 